Beautiful women with nice daggers and claws. Time to have a look at the work I've done on my demonettes. Saved by Slanesh. Nick speaking, and welcome to this video. Right, time for another Saved by Slanesh episode. And in this one, I'm gonna show the work that I've done on the Demonet models that I've recently unboxed. Before that though, if you'd like to continue watching this Saved by Slanesh series, not miss an episode, then please hit the subscribe button and the bell button so you don't miss a video. Right, let's go table down and have a look at the Demonettes. Right, there you go. So that is the Demonettes, um, and I have 20 in total, so two boxes. I do want to get more, which I'm going to talk about uh, in a second. Uh, but first of all, the bases. Um, so yeah, I made that video about how I'm going to base my army. I wasn't really sure. I had some great, great suggestions and feedback, so thank you everyone. The truth is I haven't decided yet, um, and what I've done is I've just uh, blue-tacked them to their bases for now. Um, and uh, that brings me nicely on to the fact that uh, these models are no longer listed on the Games Workshop website, uh, currently out of stock. Uh, I've been informed that's probably because they're repackaging, not because there are new models, um, but because they're going to be repackaging, um, because it's got the old fantasy stuff there, it's got square bases in the box, etc. Uh, so I think the models will be the same, but they're going to put some uh, new packaging on them, bring them up to date. Um, I doubt you'll have the square bases in the new package, and that's what I'm also waiting for, to find out what size bases they're going to put in the new packaging. Because uh, if they keep with these 25mm bases, then I'll stick with them. Uh, if they go bigger, then I'll probably end up going bigger too. So I'm sort of holding back um, on that. So yeah, I've got 20. My plan will be to have 30 um, in this design of models, i.e. the Games Workshop Demonettes. Uh, 30 of them. Um, I think I want 60 Demonettes in total. Maybe 90. Uh, but uh, 60 in total, so I'm going to look at possibly alternative sculpts for another unit so I can have uh, some sort of different sculpts in the army. I think it might be quite nice. Um, right, let's zoom in a little bit. So let's just uh, adjust the camera. Right, I started off with this one here. Okay, so as you know, in my army, I want my demonettes to be. A female. Now these models are sort of still a bit of a mixture of female uh, and male, um, so it's they're not 100% female looking, um, but I tried to make them as female looking as I could in terms of uh, the bits and pieces that I used. And that's one reason why I want to go to alternative models maybe for the second units, because I've seen some quite female orientated models. So uh, you know it will sort of instigate that they do change their appearance in my army, which is quite nice. Uh, so the first thing I decided is that I hated the head uh, with the double hair coming out. So hair on one side, hair on the other side, that most people use as the, um, oh my God, I can't remember what, what the leader is. Is it the something S? I can't remember. Anyway, the sergeant. Um, so I decided I didn't like that head uh, so I went with that head which you can see there, so quite long hair still, but just on one side. Um, and I thought I would distinguish the leader by having her with that long hair and everyone else with the shorter hair. So only her um, has that long hair. I chose what I thought was the sexiest sculpts that I could get. Um, and I gave her obviously those two big claws. So she's the leader. Um, and uh, I built the first 10, which are obviously just here on this side. And then on the first 10 of the models, or the unit, um, I made sure that the hair was all um, sweeping to the right. Um, so that if it was a unit by itself as a unit of 10, it all matched in with the hair all blowing one way. Um, so I did that. The second unit, the hair, is all blowing on the left. So I'm just going to sweep over quickly to the second unit. Now you'll notice, on contrary to what I just said, uh, I've got this one model which also has that long hair. Um, and that's because I'm trying to make this unit as uh, versatile as possible. 
So the idea is that if I use this uh, unit here as one big squad, uh, then the one that I just showed you will still be the leader of the squad. Um, and this would just be a normal demonette. And I've distinguished that by only giving this one one claw, one big claw. So she's got a smaller claw on the other side. So I can easily distinguish if that was one big squad, uh, which one is the leader. And indeed, if I add another 10 models, um, I'll put the big claw on the other side here. So again, um, the, the first one will be the leader of the squad as such. Um, but if I split them up into squads of 10, uh, I will still have a leader in each squad. And again, I've stuck with long hair on the leader and the rest with short hair or bald or whatever. Uh, but yeah, on this unit, the hair is all sweeping to the left on any of the heads where it's got sweeping hair. Uh, so that was the plan. I built a musical instrument in both units. So we've got one there and then on the other side, just one over there. Um, I've also done the banners as well. So let's just bring those out so you can see them. And the banners are magnetized. So I can, uh, well, I'm basically magnetized them for storage more than anything. Now it's quite a small hole, so I ended up just shaving the arm down and sticking the magnets onto the end of the arm, and then I green stuffed the the sort of um, the mold back as such, uh, so you can't see that it's magnetized. But yeah, I've got the magnets on that one, and uh, just show the other one as well. Went for a pretty cool pose on this one. So I use the uh, second flag, let me just zoom in a bit, camera skills, alright there you go. Uh, so yeah I used the second flag but I didn't want it just to be upright again so I posed it with the flag coming down um, and I used the towel to help support it. Now again it is magnetised and the magnet is pretty strong but that towel just helps stopping it from sort of going downwards. So that is my two banner girls as such. Yeah, so really, really happy, really like these models. As I said, they're not necessarily quite as female as maybe I thought they were gonna be. Um, I could go in and do some green stuff boobs if I wanted to, um, because basically they've got one boob out. No, not one boob out. They've got one boob, uh, and the other, the other side's like more male orientated, just to give a feel that the fact that they obviously change in appearance depending on who is viewing them. Um, I think I'm gonna leave these as base um, in my armies. I always like to have at least some original models because it's always nice to have originals. So on the whole, I'm, I'm very happy with them and uh, really enjoyed making them. Can't wait to paint them, sadly. I can't paint them yet, not until 2018 when I paint this army. Right, okay, I need more demonettes, but for now, that's what I have, 20 demonettes. Right, uh, that's it from me. Thank you for watching. Any recommendations on demonettes in general, using them in eighth, unit sizes, anything like that, would be much appreciated. And I'll see you in the next video.